Hey guys, Nate here with the Volunteer Tech Vlog on the Live Sound 101 YouTube channel. And uh, just making a little video on my lunch break today. It's such a beautiful day, I had to come outside. And uh, to tell you the truth, I would record um, for, the for the thumbnail. I gotta do a nice little smiley scene right here so I can, I can do a little screenshot. And... There we go, that'll be my awkward thumbnail. Um, Really nice day out, so I want to come outside and record a video. I try to go out by the pond, but it's also by the loading dock, so you hear a lot of trucks backing up. And then there's like a gun range over there, so you just hear like constant barrage of gunfire. Um, so I was going to record outside because it was so nice, and then I ended up just back in my car. But anyway, I wanted to do a feedback video um, uh, for sewing one, two, four, three. So I got a I got a really good comment. Uh, that I wanted to make note of. I haven't been able to keep up with all the comments. I'm making video responses, but because uh, I just keep coming in from all angles. Um, but I wanted to address Sewing 1243's comment. Uh, now he writes in, and now this is when, uh, on a video report that I just did recently, and I mentioned that there's AC units that are being installed. And, um, you know, uh, I just kind of mentioned it as like a, a note, a footnote, really. I didn't really talk too much about it. And he br he brings up a really good point, so I wanted to address it here. Okay, so he writes, Was a mechanical engineer involved in the design and selection of equipment for the sanctuary's new air conditioning? Was the current NC rating and the final NC rating calculated slash measured? This is a really good question, so I wrote back, uh, that right there is an excellent question. Uh, I can't say for sure, uh, since I haven't had involvement with the AC design and install, but my hunch is no to both questions. So, uh, then he wrote back again saying, um, and that is an example of why during my illustrious, uh, smiley face, career in the audio business, I was in so many performance spaces where the air conditioning systems were anywhere from being distracting uh, to... Uh, making a space unusable when the air conditioning system was on or switching between on or off during normal operations. So this is a really good thing to talk about. Uh, unfortunately, um, I haven't had very much involvement in the installation of, 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 of air conditioning equipment that's going on in our sanctuary right now. So currently we have some of these, uh, I don't even know what the systems are called, but it's it's the type of system where there's a unit that's mounted on the wall, and then there's electrical and plumbing that get fed to it, and the actual compressor that usually is the noisy part is on the outside of the building uh, around the corner. So most of the noise uh, should be pretty well isolated from, but I do not know if there were any noise criteria ratings calculated. So what you would do is you would hire somebody to come in, measure this, the ambient noise in the room when everything's off, um, and then calculate how much noise the air conditioning units and the air handlers will add to the, the, the room when it's in use. And depending on the type, everything, when you're talking about AV system design, everything is task-based. So depending on the certain task, the type of performance, the type of audio, the type of theatrics, the type of the way the room's going to be used. Maybe it's going to be used as a conference room. Um, everything is task based. So certain certain noise levels are acceptable for certain types of tasks, and certain noise levels might not be acceptable. I mean, this is this is why they test speakers and microphones um, and other types of audio devices in anechoic chambers. An anechoic chamber has no reflections, no no ambient noise, or I shouldn't say no ambient noise, but very very low ambient noise, um, because of all the the, um, the because they want the tests to be as pure as possible. So they don't want the room to be interacting with these tests when they when they test a speak a loudspeaker or something. So that's done in an anechoic chamber. Um, for our sanctuary, um, you know that's. I don't know. Yeah, I can't say for sure. I haven't, um, I haven't uh, heard from anybody that any noise criteria ratings were calculated. But I can tell you this: a few months back, when I heard that air conditioner, uh, an air conditioning system was going to be 
installed in the sanctuary, my very first question was how, how loud will it be when it's on? And I didn't get an answer on that. And quite frankly, um, here's, here's what's happening in the church. Um, everything, I'm a volunteer. I always mention that this is the volunteer tech vlog and everybody else that is pitching in for the most part is a volunteer. We've got very small staff of actual paid people, which is mostly just the pastors and one administrator who's, um, you know, uh, you know, part-time person. And we also have somebody that comes in and handles some of the cleanup and, you know, custodial type things. But in terms of, uh, how the system of the organization works, it's all volunteer based. So people do, you know, the best they know how the best they, they, they can figure out how with what they have. And, um, you know, it could be that this type of, you know, noise, cut, noise criteria rating um, service might be offered by the people who installed it. I'm not sure if an outside company actually did the install or if the actual install was done by the trustees. So I'm not 100% I'm not sure on that. But um, in any case, you out there watching this video can learn from this experience. And I think it's important to talk about. Um, if you can hire somebody to come in and actually tell you how loud this specific air conditioner is going to be in this specific room and tell you if that's going to be acceptable for your needs, that's certainly the way to go. Um, and it didn't happen in this case. And maybe I could have, perhaps I could have done more to kind of push that along or escalate that or try to help people see why it was important. But, um, you know, it's... Uh, there's only so many hours in the day, and uh, this is an important thing, though, so it's something that you need to think about, and um, now I'm interested to see how loud it's going to be. I'll do some measurements, but I can tell you that the previous solution had been to bring in these big, you know, articula uh, rotating um, fans, and those things were very loud, so um, I am almost 100% sure... The system that they've installed is going to be quieter than those fans. Almost 100% sure about that. But uh, it would be neat to bring all the fans out there and do do some measurements in the room um, without anything on, and then turn the fans on and do some measurements. Turn the fans off and turn the ACs on and do some measurements. So that'd be interesting. But anyway, great point. Sewing one, two, four, three. Thanks for bringing that up. Uh, definitely, definitely an important thing to consider. And uh, it would be, I, I'm actually curious since I don't know if you're, I don't know who, who you are exactly, but you, it sounds like you have a, you had a career in the audio business. So I'd be interested to, uh, to learn more about your, you know, where you're coming from, where you've worked, what your experiences have been. So I'd uh, love to hear more, more from you. So anyway, thanks for, for writing in. Thanks for the comment.